Let's look at three ways to remove duplicate values when only unique values are wanted on a worksheet. First, it's a good practice to copy the dataset or even the entire worksheet if you feel that you'll want to refer to it later, or maybe you just want to compare your before and after data. So let's do that now. So now we've copied this data set and let's use method one, the remove duplicates command. It's found right on the data tab and there's an icon right here that can remove duplicate rows from a worksheet. Once we've clicked within the data set that we want Excel to look at, we select the icon, make sure that the right range is selected, and if our data has headers, we check my data has headers. Next, we'll want to tick the columns that we want Excel to evaluate when looking for duplicates. If Excel finds any row where the values in the checked columns are identical, that entire row will be deleted. So in this example, we'll keep all our columns selected because we don't want to remove an entire row just because two people have the same name. Now we click OK, and Excel found two duplicate values and removed those rows. Let's click OK. And now we can compare the new list with our original list, and we can see that Eugene Ross and Bonnie Watson were duplicates. They're removed because all the columns were identical, but Geraldine Scott, even though the name was identical, this row wasn't removed because the city and state didn't have the same values. The second method is using advanced filters. With advanced filters, you can extract and make a copy of unique data right there on the worksheet. Here's how it's done. Click any cell within the data set, then go to the data tab and click advanced from the sort and filter command group. This will open the advanced filter window. You can select the copy to another location radio button and that gives you the option of pasting the new data set somewhere else on the active worksheet. So we've done that here, and we want to double check the data range that Excel identifies. We're not filtering using any special criteria, so we can skip this field, and we do want to copy to another location, so let's make that right here. And of course, we want unique records only, so we check that box and click OK. And of course, we have the same results here. We just want to point out two things for advanced filters, and that's while you can extract your unique values to another location on the worksheet, the new data set must be on the same worksheet as the original data set. It can't be in another sheet, even in the same workbook. And the second thing is that if you're looking for advanced filters on the Excel online platform, it's not there, at least not yet. So that was method two. The third method to remove duplicates is using Power Query. Power Query has a command to remove duplicates right within the interface. Just like the remove duplicates command, you can choose one or more columns in the table to decide what is and what isn't considered a duplicate record. For Power Query to work, make sure that your data set is an Excel table. So we can do Control T, and we've created a table. Then we go to the data tab and from the get and transform command group, click the from table slash range icon. Now we'll want to hold down the control key to select multiple columns and select the column headings that you want evaluated. So let's do them all the way we did before and just right click on one of the selected column headings and choose remove duplicates from the contextual menu. Power Query did that really quickly, and now we just need to click Close and Load. You'll notice that the new data set is loaded in a brand new worksheet. So we just demonstrated three of the methods that we like to use to remove duplicates from an Excel worksheet. But what if you want to find and highlight duplicates but not remove them? Conditional formatting has an option for that. You may want to do a simple highlight, which is just to find any value that appears more than once in the selected data set. All you need to do is to highlight that data set, go to the Home tab, 
and then click Conditional Formatting. Click Highlight Cells Rules, and then Duplicate Values. Once your dropdown says Duplicate, you can choose to highlight values with any color that's available, and click OK. Anything that appears more than once on your worksheet will be highlighted. If you want to do a search and highlight that's a bit more sophisticated by highlighting records that are true duplicates, you can create a working column and then join all the columns of interest. So looking at this data set, we can see that each account number is unique, but there are some values that are duplicated. So let's join the first name, last name, and email address fields. And we'll copy to the remaining rows and just look for duplicates here. So there are six values which are duplicates, meaning three records should be removed. And that's how we clean up an Excel worksheet to find or get rid of unwanted duplicates. Ready to learn more about Microsoft Excel? Then check out the full course on GoSkills.com. Click the link in the description.